Hey everybody, I'm Solomon with ClickX. Today's marketing hack of the day. I want to teach you the most important acronym that you need to learn in your business, which is called WIIFM. All right? No, it's not a radio station, and it's going to help you make millions of dollars. I promise you, if you can get this right, you're going to make a lot of money. Let's get started. Marketing hack of the day is brought to you by ClickX. All right, so you might be thinking to yourself, what is this WIIFM thing he's talking about? It is basically the fundamental principle that every marketing campaign, every salesperson should be doing behind, right, in your head as you're proposing to a prospect or if you're writing copy for your marketing campaign, doesn't matter if it's an email marketing or website or even, even a small tweet, all right? It means what's in it for me, all right? That is what your prospect, that is what your audience is asking. What's in it for me? Tell me what is it gonna help me do? How is this gonna help me accomplish more? How is this gonna save me more money? How is this gonna help me get to where I'm going for my company, for my you know, career? Whatever your person, whoever you're talking to, they're always thinking from their perspective, right? So a lot of companies, they don't necessarily know how to crush their goals or they don't know how to beat their competition. They get too hung up on conversion rates and maybe they're thinking about why their email marketing is so low, right? They're like, what do we do now? Do we have to scrap all of our campaigns and offers and come up with new one? No, you're probably missing this guy right here, all right? You're missing the, the very element that they use to decide whether or not they want to use your company versus somebody else's. The very thing that they want to use to decide whether they want to work with you or they want to work with somebody else. It's all about how you come out, right? It's all about how you come across to your prospects. So I'm going to give you some examples and maybe that can help you kind of revitalize how you should be thinking about your campaigns, your offers, your content, and so forth. And I believe that it's not just the newbie marketer that gets this wrong. Marketers in all sizes and shapes and form, big company, small company, they all get this wrong, right? We get right down to the features. We talk about how fast our engines can go or how many RPMs and whether it's a V8 with you know six cylinders or it's a V8 inline cylinders, this thing, that thing. We get too caught up in the features. We never ever talk about the benefits of why we exist and why should somebody else do business with us and how is this gonna help them solve their problem. All right, let's just say that you're, you're a fitness club and you're trying to add more members, okay, for as an example. And a, a new customer would walk in and you're trying to sell them on all the different treadmills you have and the Stairmasters and all the ellipticals and how you have two full basketball courts. And this person may not even give a crap about your basketball course. So you have to understand that. What is that person looking for? How do they exercise? Why are they even deciding to want to go join a fitness club? Maybe, maybe what they're thinking that if I go 10 times a month, I can stay in the same weight that I have, or I'm trying to lose five pounds and I just need to do whatever that is. That's the goal that they're going after. They couldn't care less about the rock climbing wall. You got that? So that's what you need to understand that you need to start measuring what your customers are looking for and are they getting that and not talk about the leisure pool that you have or the outdoor pool or you have the kids play area because they might not even have kids. All right, folks. So let's take a step back and assess our marketing message and see whether or not it is in alignment with the benefits that the customers are gonna get. You know, this marketing hack is in like do one, two, and three, and you automatically get three times more conversions. No, this is gonna actually go take you a step back to actually assess what you have and figure out whether or not you're even saying the same things that you should be saying in your marketing messages. You see, for marketers, it's really easy to list features. We're so good at it because we know what the TV is made out of. We know how small it is, you know how thin it is, and you know how amazing the sound is, and you can just keep saying that all day, but what they're looking for is whether or not it's gonna fit on top of the fireplace. You see what I'm saying? They're thinking something completely different from what we think they're gonna buy it for, so you have to think about what is the prospect looking for, what is the audience that we're trying to sell to, right? Whoever we're trying to sell to, what are they looking for and how do we help them reach their goals, right? Put yourself in their shoes. I know we say that a lot, but very rarely we ever put ourselves in somebody else's shoes. And if you can do that, if you can do that, then you're gonna have much better insight into what the pain of the person you're trying to help, and then you'll be able to help them reach that. And let me tell you, those are the companies that have massive, massive success. They've had success in the past, they'll continue to be successful because they rarely talk about the size of the engine. 
all right? Because I wouldn't know how to measure that because I am not educated enough. I don't have the knowledge to know this engine is better than that engine. I am pretty much clueless, so I use other things that I know as a means to understand whether or not this is the company I wanna work with or this is the thing I wanna buy or that thing. So here's the action item, all right? I am imploring you to redefine your offer. Redefine your content, redefine your messaging, redefine everything that you have that you're saying to your customers in your sell sheet, in your webinars, and figure out it's not about you, take a step back, and it's about them, right? How are you gonna help them achieve what is it that they're trying to do? And then you step back and see whether or not it worked, whether or not they, they understood you, and whether or not they're gonna wanna do business with you, whether or not they wanna even hear more from you. Because you can hear when a company is just talking about themselves. I've been around for such and such years. We have hundreds of employees and we have customers here. These are all the logos. And, and for 25 minutes, you're talking about your company. You have, you have 50 slides about your business. And you haven't even asked your prospect whether or not, what would you like to talk about today? Or what is the pain that you're facing today, right? You haven't even talked about your prospect's pain. You're still talking about yourself. And a lot of companies do this. And if that's you, I'm so sorry. You know, I hope it didn't come out the wrong way. If you can help them solve their pain, they're more likely to do business with you. They couldn't care less about how big you are or how many years you've been around. So let's take a step back and really redefine what it is that our offer is. You see a lot of marketers are struggling to hit 2% conversion rate, which is like really average, right? Or 1%, they can't even get to 1% because they're always talking about themselves. And they only want, they're so obsessed about themselves, they just want to talk about themselves and nobody even cares. They come to the website, they bounce right back. You haven't even explained to them how you're gonna solve their pain, right? Most companies, when I go to their website, it's like, it's like all about us. Everything is about us. They should just read label all the navigation to about us. Because everything is about us, our capabilities, our everything, right? Our team, our, it's all about us. And there's barely anything for the prospect. Why should they spend any time on your website? Please tell me. There isn't, right? And then you wonder why your marketing isn't working. It's because you got this whole thing upside down. You gotta understand that every single customer has a different pain, so you need to figure out how you're gonna address to that. But I'll give you one last example, and I'll let you go. All right, so remember when iPod came out? Steve Jobs introduced the iPod, and he's on stage, he's explaining what the iPod can do. You know how he explained the iPod? It wasn't because there were other MP3 players that had little headphones on it. He explained that this device right here, you can listen to 1,000 songs from it. And people were able to relate to how many songs that they had in their inventory of songs and CDs and everything. And they saw that 1,000 songs in this little teeny device, I'm buying it. He didn't say how fast it goes, he didn't talk about the storage, he didn't talk about the RAM, he didn't talk about anything else. He was actually creating a whole new line of product, but he was talking in terms of the consumers and what they were looking to do because obviously MP3 players were getting more popular and iPod was the first thing that's gonna change the whole thing for Apple actually. So, so the way that he described it was, hey, you're gonna be able to listen to this many songs. Then later on there was an iPod photo and he said you'll be able to store 25,000 photos and people are like, wow, I got all these photos, now I can store it on my iPod. You know, at this point, nobody even stores photos on their iPod. Nobody even has iPod. They just have an iPhone. But the fact of the matter is, he was able to connect with the consumer and let them know that you have all these music, I'm going to give you a better way to listen to them and to store them and take it everywhere you go. That's why Apple is where it is today, not because they compare themselves to the PCs or the, the other MP3 players out there or another phone that's out there. In fact, they rarely do that. They never talk about their competition. They just talk about how easy it is to use the product and how amazing it is and, and show others that are using it and enjoying it. And maybe that's what you gotta do, but I just want you to take a step back and look at your offer. If you're not getting the kind of conversions rate that you want, Maybe you're talking too much about yourself and less about the prospects that they don't really care. They'll leave and they probably want to do business with someone else who is willing to listen to them, willing to take care of them. This concept about what's in it for me is never going to change. All right. I hope you got some insights. Thank you for watching another edition of Marketing Hack of the Day. Oh, hi. Subscribe to our channel. ClickX, helping businesses increase traffic, generate leads, and close deals.